This weekend, I'm going to talk with you about God's abundant good. And it's a powerful lesson for both me and for you. And here is the lesson that I've learned over the years. So often, Chris would be holding on to some familiar good with such determination that I missed out on seeing greater good. Well, human beings do this, especially as they get older. They hold on with dear passion to something that may not be working for their highest good. Maybe God has a better way, a more abundant good. Settling for the familiar, it can seem safe, it can seem comfortable, and yet often it is really fear of change, the unknown, or feelings of not being worthy to receive a greater good. It can block our deepest desires from manifesting themselves. If we find ourselves in such a situation, we can utilize the power of God to gently release thoughts of limitation and joyfully claim new abundant good. We can simply pray, God, help me right now. Help me in ways that I can't help myself to release the thoughts that I have of my own limitation so that I can joyfully, with your help, claim new and abundant good. The good may be a positive thought pattern, an increase in our salary, or a deeper level of a communication with another person. By calling on the power of God to work in and through us, we can confidently accept greater good into our lives. And we can have opportunities come to us that we wouldn't have ordinarily. We would have blocked them. We can accept a more fulfilling job. We can confidently accept a more meaningful friendship or experience greater health. And we become prospered. God's abundant good is here right now, open to the harvest. And as it says in Psalms 147 verse 1, it is good to sing praises to our God. Instead of being behind the walls of fear, let's sing praises to God that God has already prepared our good and walk forward with the strength and the help and maybe the push of God to reveal more abundant good in our life and to have our life prospered in big ways.